I'm Lauren. I'm one of the physician assistants here at Pennsylvania Pain and Spine. Um, today, we're going to go ahead and bust another myth. One that we commonly hear in, in healthcare and from all of our patients is, you know, uh, my provider should know what's wrong with me in one visit. Now, while that's always the goal is to, you know, maximize and get relief and figure out what's going on in the, with the least amount of work and then be able to treat that as fast as possible, um, it's not always a realistic expectation to have because a lot of times, you know, our bodies are very complex and there's so many different systems going on. And a lot of times different types of pain can mimic different things. There's a lot of overlap in all of these body systems. And, you know, one example is hip pain can certainly show up as referred pain to the back. And you might be thinking that it's coming from the back because that's what you feel, but it's not always the case. So we try to use a multitude of things in order to get, you know, a, the right answer in order to do the proper treatment plan. Sometimes that'll look like doing a physical exam in the office, of course. Uh, we might have to follow that up with further imaging, diagnostic studies, um, some nerve studies that we do here in the office, like an EMG test, depending on what the symptoms are. Uh, a lot of times, or sometimes, we might also have to use uh, the injection therapies that we do here in the office both as diagnostic, meaning if you get relief, we know that's where the problem's coming from, and then also therapeutically because then we've treated the pain. Uh, another thing is that it can be difficult because sometimes your pain is coming from multiple areas at once. So while we might be able to treat your back pain and get you 50% relief, if that's not enough relief that we're looking for, we're gonna have to try out some other things and see where else the pain is coming from. Um, you can also have muscular pain that can be as a result of your other issues. And that's something that you can work on um, here in the office with us. We might also have to implore like physical therapy, some things that might take, you know, a long time. A lot of times the pain that we see here in our office um, are more chronic pains or subacute, meaning it's not something that happened overnight. And when that happens, it can take uh, time for these things to accrue. When that happens, it's realistic to expect that it might take some time to get to the bottom of it and get it treated properly. Um, so for all of those reasons, it can be difficult and absolutely frustrating for the patient and us as providers because we want to get our patients relief quickly and efficiently, but it's not always realistic because we have so many things and we want to make sure that we're treating the proper pain. So. Yeah. That's kind of one of those that happens in all areas of medicine, um, but it's important to realize if, if it's not an emergency, it's not an emergency and it might just take some time to get to the bottom of it and treat it adequately um, by using a couple of different you know, factors. So the number one goal is always to get the patient, the pain um, under control as quickly as we can, but we also need to make sure we do it safely and we're treating the correct thing instead of just masking some symptoms. So that's my myth that I busted for you today. I'm Lauren, one of the PAs here. Hope to see you soon.